This scene is animated by Yuya Takahashi and storyboarded by Naotoshi Shida. They are two names that are behind some of Dragon Ball's most popular bits of animation. So let's look at this short scene right now. We begin with Gohan just having taken a hit. As his feet slide back, the effects form in an arching motion. Outside of the shape simply looking cool, they work in drawing the viewer straight to the main focal point. The character Toppo then runs towards him. This cut is pretty simple but looks fast. It's mostly a loop of four different drawings but its timing is on one, so one drawing every frame, giving the impression this is a fast motion. The speed lines around his body and the small little smears with the shading also help in giving that impression. There is then a quick cut of his foot hitting the ground as he leaps up. It might seem minor but the storyboard including such a shot brings clarity to the action. Without it, the audience might be left wondering how he got there. In the next cut, there's quite a bit of speed to the jump. Once again, Takahashi times out the drawings on ones, but also applying the principle of spacing, which is in regards to the distance between each drawing, is fast and smooth. Toppo then comes down for the big hit, and Android 17 lands a key attack on him. The sudden beam attack catches you by surprise. The storyboard decides rather than showing a brief cut of him preparing the attack, for those actions to have taken place off camera. This is one case where not showing the preparation behind a move is useful. The beam effects also deserve mention. They feature a lot of C curves with occasional straights and are quite interesting in their design. The way it morphs into smoke is quite a nice transition as well. Toppo after swings his head around as he attempts to go back after Gohan. I like how the eyes here move first then the head. It kind of prepares you for what direction the character is going to take. The head turn itself feels strong through the exaggerated way Takahashi animates it. Instead of just a simple turn, he sticks out his neck and comes around in an arc. In isolation, it might not seem that significant, but it adds life to the character and makes the movement more interesting. We then have a top-down perspective of Gohan, giving us the viewpoint Toppo has. The next cut is what many fans seem to remember most out of the scene. It's a three-quarter view of Gohan, and Takahashi goes off-model to achieve more expressivity in this scene. In terms of features like the eyes and nose, he draws upon design principles from the bill arc, with more curvature and an overall sharper touch, as well as shading following the same shape design from that time period, which better represents the planes of the face, giving more depth to his drawings. Outside of that, the animation itself holds a lot of power. Takahashi changes the camera position quite erratically and with some extreme close-ups. The first is the face, using his expressive drawings driving up the intensity. The second is then the hand, then the third is a profile shot. It's a fun approach to a move we've seen plenty of times before. The effects themselves look quite interesting. The shapes here look like stretched out ovals. Takahashi also uses some impact frames for the big explosion. In the next cut, the storyboard is great in its clarity. The focal point is clear. This is done through several methods. First, the direction the characters are looking. Then there is a contrast and visual weight, with the majority of elements being in this area, pulling your attention to it first then Toppo up here. The smoke effects again act as a visual note with how it circles the character and having a character in bright red amongst the background and even one character covered in shades of green likewise creates contrast. And that's the end of the analysis. Alright, so time for the channel update. Essentially, I'll be moving away from Dragon Ball centered videos later this month or the next one. I'll go into detail on my socials as to why it's a little long. But for the time being, I've set up a Patreon. In terms of revenue, the channel is most likely going to nosedive, considering YouTube doesn't recommend content that sits outside of what you usually post nearly as much, meaning a lot less views, even if the topic does revolve around animation. Yeah, I know, kind of weird. And so any support during this time would be great. Even if the channel doesn't like go in the red after this move, at best things will just be like, okay. So if you enjoy the content on this channel and want to see it continue to go on, being a member on Patreon would be a massive help in that. But yeah, with that, thank you for watching. Uh, keep an eye out on Twitter or Instagram for those updates. And the link to my Patreon will be in the description. But with that, I'll see you later.